often if I've had a particularly bad week or a particularly challenging week, um, let's say challenging, not bad. Yeah. Um, I don't have bad weeks. I have more more stressful weeks than others or more challenging um, weeks than others. And I am a half cup full person. So I I try not to think of things as half cup Mm. empty. But often if I've done a big day, then I'll I'll pop down and maybe just have a steak at my little cafe downstairs. The live sax is playing at Barangaroo here and have a glass of red and go home. And I've just had that beautiful experience. Mm before I get home um whereas if I go home full of it's a bit like the bit like the cave isn't it when you stop at the cave on the way home the men, the men come home and go in their cave um <laughs> or it could be a you know it could be a, a trip to an exercise class or it could be a coffee with a with a friend but mm. I absolutely think that that if there's individuals out there right now who by the way there will be who are in a very dark place then tips to take responsibility for oneself and find light moments and reach out and get help is a really good way to go. Just just call for help. Yeah. Fabulous counsellors. And, and I'm always, uh, and I shouldn't be surprised, but you will be surprised how many people want to help. Like I have never met a woman in business who I haven't reached out to who hasn't been like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm in there. I've got contacts. I've got yeah. an ear. I've got a wine to share with you. I've got anything. You know, women in business are so, and look, men in business, a lot of men in business are as well, um, mm. but I know we're speaking to a female audience. Um, we're so generous. I know sometimes that women in business find it hard to ask for help or a conversation or whatever it might be, but you know, women in business are so generous. Like you will, you'll reach out and someone will be there for you. Yeah, absolutely. Women are amazing for other women. Mm. Um, uh, not always, by the way. So and we do have yeah. to be careful. Um, true, true. And I've and I've and I've lived a long time. Um, but but women are extraordinary. When you do have a girlfriend. They are extraordinary. And women do tend to help other women. And I, I went round Reverend Bill Cruz, um, his church and his setup the other day and, mm. and saw firsthand women helping women who have nothing. Yeah. And Bill actually said to me, Reverend Bill Cruz said to me, it's where there is nothing that you see the most extraordinary acts of kindness and support. Mm. And that's a really inspiring thing also. So um, girls out there, I know what it feels like being there, um, you know, being, being in dark places. Please don't feel you're alone. Please reach out. Lifeline, um, the Black Dog Institute, um, call a friend. And um, and I would suggest that if you're feeling dark and down, that you try not to try to keep off alcohol. Yeah, that's great. Um, because, al- yeah, alcohol is not a great mental health lifter for many people. You know, it takes you down. Mm. And one of the big things of our generation and our, a, you know, our, our women out there, who are many of them now who live on their own, and you know, there's a big high divorce rate or high rate of single women living on their own, is not, not to make alcohol your friend. Mm. Um, and I know for my peer group, we're very conscious of, of drinking. Um, so if you're down, it, it, takes, it can take you further. And, yes. and what we want when we're down is to have all our faculties around us to be able to lift us up. Yeah, and it's really interesting. I was listening to another podcast um, yesterday about, and it's a, a podcast about divorce, actually. And I know we're getting off business topic here, but it's just sort of it relates. It all relates. Um, but they had that a similar kind of vein. If you're going through a um, you know a relationship breakdown, which you can liken to going through any kind of business breakdown or business challenge, drinking does not you know, you don't have full control over all of your faculties, all of your decision, your best decision. You're not showing up as your best self. So don't do that to yourself, you know, give yourself, like empower yourself, enable yourself to make the best decisions for yourself. Yeah. You know, when you think of people like, um, um, 
oh gosh, I mean, there's there's David Bowie, there's Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, they've done the sobriety, sobriety thing mm. because they got into dark places with it. Yeah. Um, and and I mean, I'm I've lived, as I say, I've lived a long time. There, there are some dark moments in life. You know, mm. life isn't always great. Mm. But then there are wonderful moments. Yeah. And and um, you know, we celebrate them too. So I think it's very important for us as individuals not to be bitter and always take responsibility for our own actions in business and in our personal lives. Um, and they are totally intertwined if you're in business for yourself. I mean, I'm in business for myself. I, I, just before you came, came, came on online, Danielle, I was meeting with a wonderful lady um, who's a partner in a big four. And she was saying that part of her um uh, almost her professional requirements every year to go and do the ethics course every oh, yes. year we redo it yeah uh, yep. great thing to do mm. because our businesses are going to be as successful as we are humans mm-hmm. um and we have to keep on we have to keep ourselves you know not frustrated <laughs> we have to control all our, all our emotions we have to be professional and i think there's a I think that changed after COVID. I think I think people are far more on the edge after COVID. Um, yeah. Lots of emotions bubbling to the surface. You know, I'm seeing some strange things happening in the in the workforce now, and that's not just at my company. That's throughout throughout clients' businesses. So yeah, let's get on to discipline and a mission and a friend and walking on the beach or a gym class. So good. And, and I mean, not, not being so hard on ourselves. Yeah. And I think that that's really important, isn't it? You know, you do have to almost take a step back as a business owner sometimes and just evaluate the situation. You know, we have been through a very tumultuous couple of years and you are so right. Emotions are high. Everyone is on edge and at and all different levels and all different things, right? I think, you know, there are some, I know we've been talking about relationship becomes a lot on this podcast but even through COVID you know that did happen you know there were lots of relationship changes there were lots of work changes a lot of people lost jobs a lot of people got mm-hmm. different jobs all of that kind of thing so I feel like there is almost this PTSD that the human race is going through yeah. after yeah. the last couple of years and you really do as a business owner have to be hyper aware of what everybody else is going through that's right which is which is my mission to spread grace you know I oh, think I love that we need to have grace written here mm. and be, gra- be graceful speak mm. gracefully act gracefully don't get frustrated I mean you know I'm, I'm not saying that I'm some angel but try try and give yourself enough downtime and good times and mm. to be able to to operate from a position of grace mm. 